How are you this morning? Excellent. Excellent. I'm doing good. Thanks. Hey, uh, go ahead and grab your Bibles and open up to Luke chapter 14. That's where we're going to find our text this morning. If you are here this morning and you don't have a Bible and you need one, would you stick your hand high up in the air and we'll make sure we get a Bible to you. If you, if you don't own one, that's our gift to you. If you just need to borrow it, that's fine too. So uh, put your hand up if you need it. We're going to begin reading in chapter 14 of the Gospel of Luke, starting at verse 25. Now great crowds accompanied him. The him there is Jesus. And he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he's laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish it. Or, or, or what king, going out to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000? And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace. So, therefore... Any of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. (laughs) Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It's of no use, either for the soil or for the manure pile. It's thrown away. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Let's pray. Father, we have ears. We hear this morning the words of our Savior your son, Jesus. Those words come to us, God, through the tunnels of time. They have been preserved and protected by you. There have been those followers of you throughout history whose blood has been spilled, God, to bring us these words. And as we hear the voice of of your son as we hear the voice of Jesus talking to us. God, give us hearts that are ready to receive. Lord, give us a a will that desires to be bent around your truth rather than trying to bend your truth around us. Let your word be like honey on our lips as we receive it. And may it do its deep work inside of us as we process it. May it cause us to wrestle with life here and to long for eternity. May it cause us to fight for what you've called us to as disciples, as followers of you. So arrest our attention. Arrest our hearts this morning with your truth. And we ask this 
In the name of and for the glory of Jesus. Amen. We left off last week with Pastor Jeff walking us through a story that Jesus gave, a parable. Pastor Jeff was giving us instructions from the parable that Jesus told about a ruler who invited outcasts to sit at his table. And and by this, by this parable, we learn that the gospel is an invitation. It's an invitation to come and dine. It's an invitation to be close. It's an invitation to enjoy the king. It's an invitation to enjoy all that he has provided through his benevolent heart. It's an invitation to benefit from all the resources that the king has. These are resources that we could not come up with on our own. It's a table that we don't deserve to sit at. It's a pleasure that we have not earned. It has been provided for us. It has been purchased 